You guys like my Halloween costume? <laughs> There's something wrong with me. You guys know how hard it was to get these eyeballs out of these heads? It took me five heads worth of bursted eyeballs until I finally got two to do this stupid ass thumbnail. But what's up guys? Today we're going to taste some goat eyeballs and you know what got me thinking is why do buzzards always pick out the eyeballs of the animal? What is it? And I've tasted eyeballs before, so I know that answer is that there's a liquid in these eyeballs that is very, very rich in minerals. Uh, just from tasting it, that's what I can tell. Obviously, it's very difficult to find a source of nutrition on something that people don't usually eat, so to speak. And uh, it's also safe to say that uh, there is a substantial vitamin A content in these eyeballs. Uh, one of the preferred indigenous foods was the fat behind the eyeballs. Why that is? I don't really know. I mean, it tastes okay. But the fat behind the eyes of animals was a preferred food, so to speak. Was the eyeball preferred food? I don't know, but vultures must be onto something, right? You guys heard that, right? The, um... The texture is something to be desired for, so to speak, right? But when it bursts, there's this intense mineral flavor in the eyeball. I mean, I don't really, I couldn't really say what the, the health benefit was of this high mineral uh, substance. Uh, we can definitely say there's a considerable amount of vitamin A in the eyeball, but I think liver, well, as much of you guys are averse to liver, is a much more approachable food than this. Uh, I don't think I can, I can do this. It's just, you know, I have a funny story. One time, I actually, the first time I was eating these, I tried to swallow one down whole, and it was literally the closest I think I've ever came to dying because it got caught in my windpipe and I was like choking on it. Thankfully, I'm still here, boys. Sorry for some of you. But <clears throat> I just thought that was so funny. I was choking on a goat eyeball in my, the middle of my kitchen, I was like, is this how I'm going to die, choking on a goat eyeball? That thought came to my mind. I would be like, Frank, you are a goddamn idiot. So I learned my lesson, bite into them. Uh, it is kind of hard to bite into these, uh, I must say. Like, it's very, very difficult. You have to kind of hold it there almost and then really bite super hard. It's like slipping out of my teeth. But, uh, not bad, not bad. You guys are, uh... May Frank, why do you do all these weird world eating videos? Maybe I'm trying to get cast as a serial killer on a TV show. Maybe someone's gonna see... Maybe someone's gonna see these... Maybe producers are gonna see these videos, but... Uh, this isn't really about nose to tail. This isn't really something I would do normally. Uh, it is to show how approachable animal foods are and how they all taste good and all parts of the animal have a purpose. Maybe someone had some sort of mineral craving and this would have tasted amazing to them. Who knows? Uh, you know, there's plenty of other parts of the animal that we could eat, even just on the head. And in many indigenous groups, parts of the head, as I've said, were preferred, especially the brain tissue, especially the fatty parts. Secondarily, eyeballs, liver, that kind of stuff. But fatty parts always preferred. That's why the fat behind the eyes was preferred. But guys, getting getting these eyeballs out was a nightmare. You know, I had this knife in there trying to, you know, I bursted like 10 of them trying to get it out. So get, me going in there and getting the fat out behind the eyes is not going to happen. Uh, you know, you would, you know, with these heads, you would roast these. I'm probably going to boil the tongues, peel them, and eat the tongues like that. Uh, definitely a lot of... Uh, nose to tail eating that can be utilized for a cheap price on these lamb heads. Is there a benefit to eating eyeball? Of course. I mean, I would assume the mineral content is higher than any food and I could definitely say the sodium content in that is high. I would assume all the other minerals are pretty high as well. I couldn't, I know what each mineral tastes like and I couldn't really differentiate between them. 
It tasted like a pretty balanced amount of many different ones. I would love to get a food like this tested. Uh, this is definitely, I mean, you know, who's, I mean, who's going to eat these? But it's definitely, it would definitely be interesting to know what the, the consistency of the mineral juice is. Like what minerals are in the eyeballs. And then why do buzzards always eat them, so to speak. But uh, I guess that's it, guys. If you guys want to see me taste other parts of this head, I do have several videos tasting brain. Uh, I'm probably not going to show anything else. Uh, if you want to cook these heads traditionally, you just boil them in a pot for like overnight. And then you just take the meat off and eat it. Uh, if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. Uh, if you guys would like to check out my Amazon shop down below, uh, I got a bunch of products I eat in my day-to-day -day life. And uh, if you guys want to say hello to uh, Kenny from Vincent's Meat Market, uh, shoot them an email, get in touch with them. That's where I got these lamb heads from. Uh, these are about $5 each. Uh, maybe maybe they're a bit more than that. The price has been going up, unfortunately. Uh, but reach out to those guys. They're excellent with sourcing kind of high-quality uh, organ meats and animal foods you can't really get your hands on.